possible under really bad conditions. Later on, I'll be using the DS16M and DS16C to uh, try to uh, look at Comet Johnson and a few other objects. But this is the SSIM. And you can see even at low power, Jupiter is just bouncing around like crazy. So what is the exposure time? Right now my exposure is eight milliseconds. Let me go to nine. That's nine. Let me crop the area. With this software, you can grab a, a crop. Which this shows how bad the atmosphere really is. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out. Let me try to sharpen a little bit. I'll use the sharpening feature. Okay. And let me change the. Reduce the gamma a little. So, right now I have the histogram set sixteen to one. 49. I'm going to lower that a little bit more. And let me move the midpoint over a little. Okay. Sharpness is at 0.2. I'm going to wow. And the sun doesn't set for another And the sunset today. Sun sets today at 7:53. So the sun is still up. The sun has not set for another 20 or so minutes, 25 minutes. So we're in a, we're in a blue sky. So. the crop area but not quite as much so I don't zoom quite as much okay that's not too bad now this is supposed to be what's going on with Jupiter right now let me go to interactive atlas which will jump right in the front of everything and I got to move this out of the way okay move it over to the other monitor Sync telescope on telescope Jupiter. synced. So now I'm synced on Jupiter. Okay. Right now, the great red spot is supposed to be coming on at the bottom 
left below the lower of the two dark bands. That occurs at, yeah, right now. Let me see if I can make this look a little prettier. Oh, if only for good saying. Okay. Well, you can look on the right and see how I have everything set right now. Yeah, maybe I'll go to zero with the and I'll go to zero with the black point and just raise gamma. I doubt if we're going to be able to see the red spot moving on tonight as turbulent as the atmosphere is. Let me get my epic pen going. Pen. Okay. The red spot will be coming on right about there. Restore this to full screen. I'm slightly zoomed in. That's the full screen. Let me change the exposure to 10 milliseconds. Zoom in a little. Try to tweak, but I think the focus is as good as it's going to get with the atmosphere. as good as it's going to get.
That's not too bad. Well, for Andy in the Virgin Islands, right now my exposure is 10 milliseconds. I have the histogram set from 0 to 126 with the midpoint at 41. I said 10 millisecond exposure. The gain is at 6, which is minimum. Contrast 11, gamma 94. I have the sharpness at is it 1.3. Let's see if I can point out sharpness. The sharpness is 1.3. And I have, like I said, I have the histogram from 0 to 126. Midpoint is 41. Exposure is 10 milliseconds. Gamma 11, I mean gamma 94, contrast 11. And I am, I think, zoomed in a little. Let me zoom out. No, I can crop an area by just grabbing a box and then crop to full screen. And it zaps it in. And then you click here, restore, and it goes back to full. So let me clean up that image. Where's the uh, crosshairs? Okay, so let me move this to the center. And then go to. Sync on Jupiter. Telescope synced. Okay, I'm synced on Jupiter right now. Turn off the crosshair. Okay. Hey Lance. Hope you can hear me. If you can, let me know. Thanks. Yeah, I'm testing this camera. I have a customer in the Virgin Islands who just got one, and he was trying it on Jupiter the other night, and all he got was a, an overexposed blob. And I had contacted him to let him know I would be trying uh, the SSIM tonight on my scope so he could tune in as a guest and watch. Hopefully he'll watch. I told him I'd be on about 8.30, so I'm actually... The sun hasn't even set yet. The sun sets in, in 15 minutes. So we're in a nice blue sky right now. The red spot is starting to enter the bottom left below that darker belt. And it'll be transiting, oh, in about two hours, I think. But I wanted to do this and then go on to the DS16M and DS16C later and see what I could do with it. I wanted to look at Comet Johnson and some galaxies and, 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 and see what I could pull out on them. It's a good camera. I, 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 did I, I posted some pictures today I grabbed from um, the sun this morning. This morning the sun was not too bad. This afternoon, about three and a half hours later, the atmosphere really had gotten turbulent, and I couldn't even identify features I had seen this morning. Uh, I posted a link for the video I shot, and I posted a few of the single grabs off of the video to the uh, Malincam Yahoo group. Amal Amalthea 
is moving off the disk right now. Or maybe it's moving from behind the disk. Okay, yeah, it's moving from behind the disk. I think later tonight, you get uh, two moons transiting and then early in the morning tomorrow, you get some shadow transits. I will not be watching them tomorrow. I will be sleeping, hopefully. Let me see if I can increase the exposure a little bit. Change exposure. Let me go to 11 milliseconds. Okay, that's 11 milliseconds. And let me do a cropped area. How about a cropped area here? Try to get it centered. Okay. And crop. Um, every camera is slightly different. Uh, with this, you can't just uh, scroll in and out with a zoom like you can with some of the other cameras. You have to, like I, I just did, you have to crop an area and then hit... Uh, cropped area, then it zooms in, and then you hit restore, and it goes back out to full. There's different ways of working it. You have your histogram at the top where you have your uh, black point, your mid-range, and your white point that you can slide and adjust to make changes. Like I'm going to grab the white point out of the top and move it a little bit to the side. You see how much whiter it got. I'm going to move back to where I was. Well, it See, it's real tricky with the uh, you can grab the sliders, and here you can play with the gamma. As you when you grab the when you grab the center point, you'll notice that the gamma changes. See, I, I grabbed the mid range, which is the gamma. And gamma goes, here I am at uh, 44, and then I can go back here. To, the gamma will change as I move the midpoint. So it, it, there is some learning that has to be done with the camera. But it's not that bad. So if I want to now raise the gamma a little bit and darken it up, I just raise the gamma. Or I can even change the contrast. I'm going from 11. I'm at 9 now. Gee, SSI probably four years ago, I'm guessing. I mean, I've had, I've had them for a while, four or five years they've been around. I was showing Rock uh, the video today after I had done that grab this morning. I went and I played it back and Stefan Lalonde was in his office and they were both looking at the, uh, the video I had recorded and... Uh, they, they were impressed. Let's see, Europa and Io are to the left. If I raise the gain, maybe I can pull out Uh oh, I'm flipped. Wait a minute, maybe I'm not right. I'm reversed. Yeah, he was saying he bought a 6SE. I wish I had known that. I, I have a 6SE up for sale along with the Hyperstar for the 6SE. Uh, <laughs> could have made him a deal. <laughs> okay, that's... Uh, that's 
this is Europa, and this is Io, and this is Callisto out here. So the red spot's going to be coming on over here and then moving in this direction. I have the orientation backwards. I'll have to do a, uh, let me do a flip. Uh, what is that? That's a horizontal flip. Let me go back to my, and hit horizontal. Okay. So now I have, yeah, and now Europa, I mean, the red spot will be coming in from the right, moving to the left. So let me go back and lower the gain. Okay. If that's right, this can be hard with the atmosphere we have right now, but the, the red spot's supposed to be up in that area right now. But it's not happening because of the uh, atmosphere. According to Sky Tools, the red spot is totally on the face of Jupiter right now, almost touching the right, the left edge, but uh, not quite stable enough for that. I can try tweaking, but I doubt if it's going to. Nope, not happening. Let me zoom out. Okay, yeah. I just it raised the gamma a little bit. Let's see if that makes that area. No. I didn't really pop it out. Okay. You can see I'm, I'm playing with contrast. And I'm playing with the gamma. I haven't touched the histogram in a while. I moved the midpoint a little bit to the left. Let's see. No. Maybe to the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay with Jupiter until uh, about 8.30. The sky is still totally blue. Uh, the sun sets in three minutes, so it's low in the west. It'll start getting dark, and then according to sky tools, it is completely dark from... Let me minimize this. Completely dark from 9.27. Okay, so it doesn't get totally dark until 9.27. Okay. Now if there's a way of putting, putting text up on here short of using a little pen.
Let's bring it to right now, the SSI M. No focal reducer, I'm at F8. I could try putting a Barlow in, but with the atmosphere, that may not help. Let me see, I got a two power bar. Let me see what it'll do to it while I'm here. Begging. Okay, so the Barlow's in, so now I'll really have to increase exposure. Well, let me just for now increase gain. Nope. Let me change the exposure. Let me go to 30. Default histogram. So now I'm going to have to try to refocus. So I'll probably have to go out, I'm guessing. So, okay, east and west is reversed. Okay, so now let me play with this gram and everything else. Atmosphere is rolling like a son of a gun. I'm thinking that the Barlow is a bad idea. Maybe not. Change the exposure. Let me go to sixty five. How about change it to seventy, maybe?
I'm uh, playing with the SSI M tonight. I have a customer in the Virgin Islands who bought one and he was having issues observing Jupiter with it. So I told him I'd be on tonight with it, trying to show him how it works. <laughs> 